Hello, my fellow Minecraft friends, enthusiasts, and nerds, and welcome to another episode of Survival Minecraft from the Rocketcraft server. I am your host, Mojo Roberts, twenty six hundred. The channel is called The Dude of Minecraft. As always, I do appreciate you stopping by. I know it's been some time since we've seen each other. I hope you are doing well. I am doing fantastic, and I've been up to things on Rocketcraft. Just because I have been away from YouTube a little bit doesn't mean that I haven't been playing around here. The biggest news right now on the server is that our world is coming to an end. That's right. This nearly two-year-long journey with Rocketcraft is coming to an end on Halloween night, just a few days away. And I'd like to kind of share what we're going to get up to in the next couple weeks. Uh, but for that, you're going to have to head on over to the Rocketcraft YouTube channel. And you're going to have to get those details straight from the man himself, the king, the Mr. Mayor, El Presidente, DJ Haribo. We'll have all kinds of info on what we're doing on Rocketcraft next time. I've got one more episode of Rocketcraft planned after this one, so you can look for that in the next uh, week or two. But lately I've decided it's time for me to start leaving my mark around the server in more places than just the western area. So today, I'm going to be adding two houses to the Rocketcraft server. First, in the medieval district over here. And then a little later on, we're going to head on over to the modern district and build a modern house. So I've got a spot scoped out right here. I'm ready to go. I've got a bunch of supplies and uh, we're going to speed it up time lapse style. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Is it medievally enough for the medieval club? Let's head on in for a closer look. I really love the location of this one up on the hill overlooking World Spawn in the lower end of the shopping district. And nice little medieval bridge here. This is not made by me. This was someone else. I'm not sure along with this building here. But as you look, you see I did a little symmetry thing with the smoke and the waterfall. Looks pretty all right. I like it. Let's head on up the path here and have a closer look. And that in front of you is a Mojo Roberts 2600 custom tree. That's uh, it's just a thing I shaped for a while and I thought it looked pretty good. Now here we go, let's have a look. And that's one of my favorites right there, the dark oak door with the iron rivets sort of holding it together. Can't use that door, but it looks cool like a front door. But it's a real fake door. Let's see a wild zombie knock that door down. It's not gonna happen. That's a sturdy door, I'll tell you what. So this house features an upstairs and a downstairs, neither of which have anything in them right now. I, I aim to fix that. Now is not the time on the server to be leaving incomplete projects around. So I'm going to get to a little bit of interior work here off camera. And see what I can come up with for all this space. I don't like interiors. And we're back. All right, check this out. Uh, well, it has walls. I didn't really furnish it, but the upstairs has three separate rooms. So that's nice. This is a three-bedroom house. And uh, yeah, they got the rivets there on the inside now. Nice little stairway. Fancy fireplace. I like it. We got some fuel off to the side. And this little uh, table I came up with. I guess it's uh, it works. It's medieval enough. I wish you could change the color of the scaffolds. Have some dark oak scaffolds. That'd be fantastic for that application right there. But let's head on out. We're going to take a look around the outside really quick, make sure we're not leaving anything lying around like shulker boxes or materials and man, I'm really pleased with the way this looks. I hope you are too. I'm ready to call this one complete and move on to the next one. Let's go! Another area that I've neglected since I've been playing here on Rocketcraft is the modern district. So we're cruising over here by the modern military base. And uh, I've decided I'm going to add some of my style to this district today. 
This is where the Rockercraft Bank is, the City Hall, the Post Office, the Block Exchange, the Bakery, the White Castle, all kinds of things, and featured right here in this spot coming soon, like right now, is my modern build. Permission to land like a dainty butterfly? Permission granted. Once again, we are in a fantastic neighborhood with a lot of great views around, and this is the spot, this is the location. We are gonna go time-lapse style and get this modern house going. Oh yeah! And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. How you liking my modern build? I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic. I'm missing a mailbox out here. Well, gee, now's a great time to notice uh, a mistake like that, but here we go. How do you like this? I really like the way this looks, personally. I mean, I sort of had a basic idea of what I was going for at the start, uh, but definitely a lot of this was freestyle. Uh, and I've gone back in and I've added quite a bit of detail since the actual time lapse. As you can see, the little walkway up here in the, uh, the front garden area. I fixed the front door just a little bit more. It's another one of those real fake doors that you can't use. Uh, however, I have a little spot through here. We're just going to poke inside. Have a look. I got a little spot to sit and read a book. I put my feet on the nice carpet. Everything's looking so nice in here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Little modern looking fireplace here to keep the place warm, even though it doesn't really snow over here very often. Oh, yeah. And then right over here, I know it's supposed to be a modern house, but we've definitely got some 70s style going here with the sunken living room kind of feel. And I got some, some fire coral blocks down there. Those were, those were tricky to work with. And, uh, oh, yeah, there's my PlayStation 4. I know it looks like an Xbox, but it's a PlayStation. Promise. Got our nice little dining area and kitchen area. I had a little bit more time to uh, flesh out the interior of this one than I did the last one. And I'm pretty pleased with the results. Looking good, looking good. Nice little kitchen. We've got our kitchen island. I saw this coffee maker. Someone else's build had this coffee maker. However, I went a step further there. I've got the black coffee inside of the coffee pot. That's how I rock it. Black coffee, caffeine, that's what fuels all of this, you know. This isn't just natural. This is caffeine-induced madness. And I am your captain, Commander Coffee Pants. We're going to head upstairs here. I want to show you a little bit more detail. This is that Lego-looking box in the front of the building, but it's definitely the staircase on the interior. So I'm going to take you out there after. We'll go this way first. Let's, uh, no, let's go this way first. I want to show you this little hidden bathroom in here. That's a macro-sized mini block that you can walk through. But I got my nice little bathroom here off the patio, and uh, there's your there's your pooper. And we got the hot tub outside, so we got a nice little spot to party out here. Get in the hot tub, soak it up. I'm gonna soak up the fruits of my labors here. I really enjoyed this build. Well, let's continue on. I've got a little bit more to show you. We'll go back in. Here's another doorway leading back to that staircase. And uh, 
so far i've only put in the one bedroom it seems kind of odd to have a house this big and only have one bedroom in it but we've got sort of a finished off bedroom back here like i said i'm not going crazy with the details uh the server's going to be shut down in about five days anyway but i would like to uh have things looking nice for the world download and speaking of which there is uh, almost a certainty that there will be a world download so if you're a fan of the players on this series if you didn't play on this series if you'd like to get in on the next series well now's the time to start uh having a relationship with the rocket craft community because we are always looking for dedicated players we'll continue on here i'll show you around the backyard and uh, i've got a little shelf out here i didn't know what i was going to use that for uh, mainly it's to hide the tv on the wall behind it the uh, black concrete but i don't know maybe we'll put some adult beverages in there or some towels or something and as long as I'm here, I may as well hit this pool one time because I'm not going to be able to swim in it for much longer. But yeah, this feels like a great modern house. And I really love these brick and granite patios. I don't know who taught me how to do that, but I wish I could thank them because uh, I use that. And, and it comes in handy in so many different block palettes and everything. I've used it at the, uh, the Diagonal Church, the uh, Spanish Colonial Church in the western town. Features quite a bit of that brick and granite well as we come around the front here let's have another look at this modern house and uh so pleased with how this came out it looks like someplace you could really live which is the goal of building in the modern style i think is to make it look like you could actually go there and have it be a functional house and oh i forgot one more thing i gotta show you let's go in here oh this is too exciting i can't just let this go i got oh let's go through this it's a garage door let's go in here Oh, look at my fancy automatic garage door opener. Can you believe that? They have those in Minecraft. You know, I could probably redstone a thing to uh, make that door actually open and make that thing look a little more functional, but I don't think that's going to happen. Not not this time around. Unfortunately, we're going to run out of time this time. You know, but uh, I put my heart and soul into a lot of these projects around this server. Uh, the people that I've gotten to know over my year and a half here, just awesome. Uh, if you're looking for a fantastic Minecraft community, this is definitely it. And this is my skin. This is what I look like under my helmet, which I almost never take off. But somebody pointed out something the other day. DJ Harry Bull pointed out that I'm wearing a backpack. Who knew? Who knew? This entire time I could have been carrying around extra stacks of stone and wood and all kinds of stuff. I could have built three times as much. But there's always next time. And next time is where we're at with this one, ladies and gentlemen. I really enjoyed taking a break from Western Town and mixing it up with the different styles. I love the medieval build. The modern house may be my favorite thing I've built on the server. Uh, time will tell. But coming up uh, in the next week or so, I will have the thrilling conclusion to Rocketcraft Western Town, along with the town name, finally, uh, at the very end. I'm going to tell you what the town is called. But I do appreciate you stopping by. As always, please leave a like on the video to let me know you stopped by. And until next time, I will see you!